Hey, so welcome back and this is another daily code problem. So today it's called product sales analysis three. It's a medium level SQL problem. And so, oh, I don't want to show you just that yet. So basically you're just given two tables here, uh, but this one here, the product column, you don't even need. I think it's because this is the third uh, edition of it. And some of the questions you do need it and some of them you don't, but uh, you don't for this one. So essentially we're just looking at this uh, table called sales and you're given a sale ID, a product ID. Those are just primary keys and the foreign key for the product table. And then you're given the year, the quantity that that product was sold and then the sales price. And so all that you wanna do is output for each of the products, the first year that that product was being sold and then the quantity that was being sold as well as the quantity, like the price of it. Okay, and so in this example, there's three products, but only two of them are actually sold. So we only have put these two. And of those, um, you can see here that the product ID one, so Nokia is sold twice in 2008 and 2009, but we only wanna output the 2008 quantity and price. Okay, so to do this, all that you wanna do is you should first think, okay, how do I grab that first year of every product sold? And I kinda of thought of as, okay, I wanna kinda of have a key pair of the product ID. Okay, so product ID, I can't type right now, product ID. And then we also want the uh, like starting year, so the year or really the start year. Okay, and so this is essentially the first kind of data set that we're trying to grab. Once you have that, you can essentially just take it and apply this filter on this table um, and just select the columns that you need. But if this doesn't make much sense, I think uh, this will help. And so first, the first kind of query that we want to do is we're essentially just selecting the product ID. Then we're looking at the minimum year here. And we can just call this uh, whatever you want, but we can just leave it as is actually for this question. And then we just go ahead and we can uh, take this from our sales table. And all that we're gonna do is group by the product ID. So this essentially gets us that tuple that we're looking for in order to filter on the sales table. But once we have this, then we can actually just, there's a couple ways you could either join or add it in a where kind of in clause. So that's what I wanna do. So we're looking for whichever product IDs with this particular year is in this subquery here. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab that, delete it, and put it here. Looks good. And so now we're just going to basically take this subset of data and output it in the columns that we want. So we want the product ID, we're going to want the year then we're going to want to rename this as the first year okay so first year and then just the quantity and the price so let's go ahead and we're just taking this from our sales table and i think that's about it so let's go ahead and run this after we format it we also want to give this an alias, I believe. Um, rice, I said rice, but I mean uh, price. Well, um, not sure what's going wrong there. Ah, oh, looks good. Awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and submit it and see if we get success. Yeah, so there we go. So essentially, another way you can do this is kind of same subquery here, but instead you could just join on this column. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So just think of, okay, what do I need to kind of filter down this data set? Well, I want the product ID and the first year. Once you have that information by kind of making this simpler query, we can then uh, take that smaller query and just filter on it and then just enrich the data with the columns that we need. So yeah, hope it helped and good luck with the rest of your practice. Thanks.